Hello everybody, I am the Lightning Turk and welcome back to another Supremacy 1914 roleplay round. Uh, today's roleplay round is the Doomed Earth roleplay. It's, um, it started, but it's sort of weird. I mean, like, right off the bat, players have been doing pretty, pretty weird things. Um, like that. Even though there was an expansion limit, things have sort of gotten out of control. <laughs> so I, I highly doubt this game will go for long. However... Things are going well in the post section. Uh, players have been posting pretty damn good articles. I mean, like, honestly, I'm sort of proud of this. So, for example, this is a good article. You can make it better, but it's still good. This is a better article. Uh, let's see. These aren't necessarily articles over here. And it's sort of annoying that people do those sorts of things. However, the bottom two, such as the Arabian article over here and that one over there, are, you know, not bad. British Pakistan is posting wonderfully. So, yeah, that sort of thing. I would appreciate it if people made, made longer articles. But then again, who am I to talk? <laughs> In any case, look at our little Turkic Empire. So, um, Eastern Turkestan over here has successfully taken Russian Turkestan's provinces over here in Navioi and Samarkand. And Western Turkestan has also taken Tashaus, the double grain province, and has, you know, increased his economy um, by another double grain, which is absolutely wonderful for him. Uh, for me, I'm sort of still really, really rough. All my resources are great, except grain. Grain is just absolute, an absolute nightmare for me. I mean, I already have two grain provinces, however, that's really not helping uh, to the extent that I expected it to. Uh, aside from that, I'm probably going to be invading the Chinese Empire with the Republic of China, so that'll be our future goal. So he'll probably be going for two provinces, I'm guessing Deccan and Xi'an, and I'll go for Waxjari, Waxari, Wax on, Wax off, this little oil province over here, just to increase more, more, more resource capacity. Uh, sorry, weird, weird accents when I'm just very tired. But yeah, uh, let's see, aside from that, what has happened, let's take a look around the globe and let's see how everyone's currently doing. So over here in North America, we can see that Baffin has actually expanded into Danish Greenland, which is very interesting, an interesting development to say the least. They've taken over the little southern chunk of Greenland and are most likely going to expand soon enough. Uh, moving over here we see that the Canadian Alliance has not really done much. No expansion from that end. Uh, no expansion from any of the American territories, which is actually surprising. Like I, w I expected them to expand much more than they have at this point, which is zero. Uh, in South America, we can see that Colombia has really taken down Venezuela and um, Let's see, the Brazilians, the North Brazilians, and South Brazilians may go at it in the upcoming days from one of their posts. Uh, let's see, Bolivia and Peru have done nothing whatsoever, and Chile is currently the supreme ruler of Argentina. I mean, just look at this control over all those Argentinian provinces. Like, um, that AI is getting wrecked pretty damn soon. Moving over here to South Africa, we can see that Tanzania has expanded uh, significantly, and so has Congo. Yeah. So, Tanzania, Congo, and actually, let's see, actually Portuguese Angola. So, Angola, Tanzania, and Congo have really went at it with their expansionism and alliance building. This coalition of old um, territories is really, really shaping up to be something formidable in the future of the roleplay. Uh, Upper Volta, on the other hand, has been slightly expanding into Nigeria. Hopefully it'll work out well for them and they can gain some more territories because they've already taken the little AI of British East Africa. Or was it West Africa? I think it's West Africa. <laughs> yeah, looking up in Europe, we can see that the British Empire has actually fallen apart with uh, Ireland and Scotland taking a majority of British provinces, including London. Wow, that's, that's actually not good for them at all. So, yeah, Britain's going to fall apart. Uh, Germany and the Austrian state, or more correctly Austria-Hungary, have formed their little German coalition and are not really doing much. I mean, like, they've expanded into Zwolle and nothing really else. 
Uh, moving further east, we can see that the Russian white Russian territories have succeeded in capturing Perm Krai's two provinces. That only one remains, and that will most likely not remain for long. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Alright, I completely hopped over Libya. Let me go over there to them. So Libya seems to be doing well. It's actually taken a province from uh, Algeria and then has moved down south and taking uh, French equ equatorial, <laughs> equatorial Africa. Let's see, Arabia, the leader of this new coalition, has been very, very successful in its expansionism by taking a province from the Ottoman Empire, a province from Iran, and a lot, a lot, a lot of the Arabian, um, let's see, the Kingdom of Hejaz. There we go. Pakistan has taken over Afghanistan and is just chilling there. And India has taken over Nepal. Um, Burma has taken over Bangladesh and the southern little chunk of Yunnan. And I don't think... Oh, wait, no, 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 I'm wrong. I'm definitely wrong. Uh, British Australia is currently expanding at a frightening rate by having taken Papua New Guinean territories and is currently moving south into the rest of Australia. So there will be... There will most likely be some sort of conflict between the Republic of Australia and British Australia in the upcoming days. I don't think anything else has happened aside from that. I mean, no news from anybody else. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much how it is at this point. I don't know if this RP is going to last. I really hope it does. I hope it doesn't, you know, fall apart into just nations taking territories, which really friggin' sucks. But yeah, I wish everybody the best, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Peace.